find me. You walk through the door, your expression calm, sweet, empty. It's black on black, the emptiness, the hollowness, the pain of keeping everything inside is like a piercing knife embedded in your gut. And all you want to do is scream out, but you take a deep breath. You push it all back. You say hi to your friends. Your expression is as warm and synthetic as the glass being used to keep the heat inside you contained. You give a honeyed smile, and the motion stretches your face like wax has been poured over it, because the action feels as fake as the pleasantries you've been choking out since the moment you walked into the building. Are you okay? Your friend asks, and you want to laugh in their face, because every time someone asks you that question, you flip a coin to decide whether or not to tell them the truth. But that shining little circle of metal that spins over and over and over again in the air happens to have the same image plastered onto both sides. So you say, I'm fine, and the conversation moves on. Take a deep breath, you tell yourself, push it all back, but what if you don't want to anymore? Because even though your head is in the game, your heart isn't. And even though you're running your very fastest, the people who still expect so much more of you are sitting in the sidelines yelling, you can run faster. And life, these days, life seems to be a choice, a path that all lead to the same place. And the walls that you built as a little kid are crumbling down brick by brick, stone by stone, because the monster inside is rattling its chains, and all you can focus on are the people who said the things that made you blink back the tears that started to spill from your eyes, and the words, the words that you may have forgiven, but you never forgot. No, you never forgot. Take a deep breath, push it all back, but everything you've ever felt is rising up beneath the tide that had blanketed them for so long. They're swirling around you like a natural disaster that twists and turns in a pillar of black and gray and white, you see the faces of the anguish, the faces that tormented you. And all the emotions that you kept caged in are spilling into the glass vial that was already full to begin with. And you take a deep breath. You push it all back. After all, it's what you do best. OK. Here we go. Anyone who knows me knows that I love to draw and write and sing. Basically, anything artistic. I like to create things. I want to create, to spill my heart on the pages. I want to be known for making something amazing, a masterpiece. But sometimes, I don't want to draw, or write, or sing. Depression creeps inside me like an infestation, thousands of insects crawling inside the skin, the skin I have learned to hate, and I'm hidden behind the sadness I've grown addicted to, but now I've become numb. And when I am consumed by these seemingly abyssal shadows, I remember that I am what I love. I'm the masterpiece. And just because there's a drop of paint out of place doesn't mean I'm not beautiful. I am. I am unique. And just because one note is off key doesn't make my song less wonderful, but it caught your attention, didn't it? And just because a single word is misspelled doesn't mean that my story is invalid. It means I am weary from my travels, and despite that, I still wrote the book. And so did you. Your face, your figure, your thoughts, and your voice, it's all color splattered on a golden canvas. It's engraved in the instruments and pens, and the sculpture you sculpted was nothing but a hammer in your heart. It's written on your soul in permanent marker. You may be abstract, loud, and expressive, or you may be realistic, calm, and serene. You could be one or the other, both, neither, or anything else. There are no limits to art, and there's no limits to you. And when someone doesn't have the capacity to appreciate your own original beauty, don't succumb to the sound of not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not. Stop. Look the beast in the eye, stand straight and tall, look and say, I'm not. I am not good enough, I'm better. I'm a treasure, I am a masterpiece. And you may not see it now or ever, but you know that feeling when someone says they're proud of you, and you feel maybe I could be good enough, and those feelings happen because you already are. In and of yourself, with all of your flaws and scars and bruises, with all of the tears you have shed in pain and happiness, you've made it this far, and so have I. You made it. You did it because you you did it and you will continue to do it because you're strong. And it is these flaws and scars and bruises and tears and fears and sadness that all happen to make you the most beautiful work of art. And the best thing about it is that it's you. You are a masterpiece. You are a masterpiece of paint or clay, dance or song, stitches or glue, a masterpiece. Whether you want to believe it or not, you are. And that is so much more than merely good 